Hi everyone, this is Freddie with webdesigntipsandtricks.com. Here to talk to you today about Web Developer, a, an add on or a plugin for the Firefox, Flock, and SeaMonkey browsers. Now, I wanted to highlight this today because if you're new to web design or maybe you've been in web design for quite some time but you're not using this plugin, I highly recommend it. I think it's very important uh, that you can use it in your arsenal, in, in your tools, to be more effective when it comes to web design learning from other people and normally the way we learn from other people is going to a website right clicking and viewing the source of a web of a website but this plugin web developer allows you to really look under the hood to see what's really going on you get to see the javascript the flash the images that they're using the divs the div order the ids and classes that they're using and so in a sense you can then take that information and do some reverse engineering and implement those things into your own site and your own designs. Now I have to admit that when I first started uh, web design um, they didn't have this but now that they do I'm using it. I use it and I implement them into my designs and I think it's very powerful to use. So again I highly recommend it and let me show you how you can go ahead and use it. Now I recommend using the Firefox browser that, that's what I use myself. But now you can go to, for example, if you don't have it, you go to Mozilla, mozilla.com, and you can go ahead and download the browser. Okay, it's open source, it's free, they're not going to charge you for it. Now, in the top menu, you just click on add ons. Okay, it's going to take you to the add ons or, or plugins page, whatever you want to call it. And you want to search for the add ons. Okay, that, that uh, search bar comes up, look up web developer and all add-ons, go ahead and search for it. And there we go, web developer, first one by Chris Pedrick. And if you notice, it's got over 52,600 weekly downloads. So it's a very popular add-on. Most people involved in web design or web developing are using this add-on. So you just click add to Firefox. Once you have Firefox installed, you just click install now. It's going to install itself, it's going to restart Firefox, and then you should have this, this toolbar like I have right here at the top. I didn't install it because I already have it. But you see all of the, the different things you can do. You can look uh, at cookies, CSS, forms, images, you look at uh, the div information, the way that the whole site is laid out, you look at miscellaneous stuff, outlines, you can resize the, the window, you can even view the source. Okay, but we're not going to do that. I want to show you real quick how you can use this. For example, I came across uh, this website the other day called debtsteps.com and this is just to show you basically how you can use it. For example, this website is not table based, it's all CSS. It's got divs, IDs, classes and if you want to just take a look at the CSS, you go to the CSS tab in the, in the toolbar, you click edit CSS and here you see these two tabs here, text new.css and embedded styles. But it's this file that we want to look at, text new.css. So you don't have to go searching where they have their style sheet because it popped up right there. Okay? Any style sheet that is connected uh, or linked to by this website is going to show up in this area right here. Okay? But you can also make changes in real time. For example, the background right now is white. But I want to change it to gray. Okay, and you see the change automatically. Okay, you can change to any color, really. Okay, and and you're gonna and you're gonna see the changes right away. Okay, you can also make other changes to it. But for example, I'm keeping it very simple right now. You look at the top uh, header of the website, and right here you see the div header. Okay and you want to move it over 100 pixels there you go the whole header shimmied over 100 pixels and you can see these changes in real time now they're not concrete they're not going to be saved so don't worry about it if you mess it up somehow you're not going to mess anything up for the website owner because once you close this window it goes back these you're not really making any changes to the actual code but web developer lets you see things in real time so that you can get a a good idea of what's going on, why certain things do uh, certain things. Okay, you can even view, for example, information. You can look at the div order. 
you can look at how this website is broken up where all the divs are you can look up at the IDs and classes okay you can look at, at uh, the, the document outline to see how the whole website or this page how it's laid out you see the, the headings that they have and and other other links that they have you see this, this is very important information you can even take a look at, at all the images that they have on their website you see I clicked on images view image information and all of these images are being shown on this page so you can you can see uh, how big how heavy these files are you can see the sizes of them and that way you can implement these things into your own design for example this these two images are part of the, of the header. Now had you not looked at the images, you might have thought that there was just one image. But now that you see that it's two, now you might go back and say, okay, well, how, how do they do that? How do they line these up together so that they look like they're one header? So again, you can, you can do a lot of things. You can go to miscellaneous, you can display a ruler, okay, so that you can measure how, how big certain things are. And like, for example, here it tells me it's 976 pixels by 472 pixels, okay? You just refresh it, and it all goes back, okay? Like I said, you can go ahead and tinker with this. Uh, I like it, it's a lot of fun. It really lets you look under the hood of these websites, as I said before. This web developer for Firefox, Flock, and Seamonkey, I highly recommend it. Go take a look at it yourself, leave me some comments on my blog, webdesigntipsandtricks.com. Okay, have a good one, bye-bye.